This is a story of one of the greatest wrestling heroes in the world. A story which will put Billy J. Woodenheimer to shame. This is the story of Mickey the Milkman. This right here that you were hearing is Jody G. Willikers attempting to push out Mickey the Milkman circa 1995. Let's listen closely now. Okay, Jody, keep pushing there, she. This is the big one, she. Get this bad heifer out of me. Oh my god, it's a baby girl, she. It's a beautiful baby girl, she. Sir, I. I think that's a penis. Here's the house Mickey the Milkman grew up in. As you can see, it's a farmhouse. And if you can't see that, you need to get your eyes checked by Chrome Dome Dr. Tito L. Teets. Coming to WNB3 this Hollow's Eve. Here is the house's wine cellar, a place where the milkman would reside after his father passed. It's totally wine! Milkman's father died in an attempt to break the world record for the longest dance to a doodad this side of Grapeseed! Unfortunately, he forgot to phone any witnesses and died on his fourth day from exhaustion and moon meth withdrawal. Who was he? Other than a complete rube? It was none other than Billy J. Wootenheimer himself! Billy's down. After finding his father collapsed less than 100 feet from the house, Milkman didn't know what to do, where to go, or why his father didn't just ask him to be a witness to such an admirable feat. This caused Milkman to be depressed and his mother to abandon him for a life in beautiful Las Vegas. Call 111 1111 1 Call that number on that rotary right now to win a trip for two to beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Call it over! After his father died and mother abandoned him, Milkman had nothing left aside from one lonesome cow named Sippy Dippy. Milkman loved Sippy Dippy so much that he promised to find her a better home. After all, Sippy Dippy didn't have free will to leave him. I'll find you a better home, Sippy Dippy. I promise. So Milkman left a small seed for the meteor apple of Los Santos, hoping to find a new home for him and his lovely Sippy Dippy Moo Cow. <laughs> Hello? Hello, is anyone here? I, uh... I, f I, f I found a flyer. The flyer, it said, Cheap Coochie, $500. Ke is Cheap Coochie what I think it is, or...? As you can see on his journey to find Cheap Coochie, Milkman was knocked out by the LSWF superstar, the Invisible Man! Soon after waking up, he would see a man standing over him. This man would introduce himself as Bulkster, a Rudy Tootie businessman who owns and operates LSWF. Bulkster would offer him a job as a wrestler for the acclaimed Wrestling Federation. Milkman accepted the offer and was told to come up with his own character. Without thinking twice, the Milkman said, The Milkman. Yeah! 